everyone okay so for this video we will try to do exercise 11 in leg shape 4 right okay so let's uh, read together the question for exercise 11 um okay like always you uh i would suggest you all to do a flow chart okay process for chart on what ha what happened uh, in the program okay, in the question so so you all will see clearly okay the process flow before you start the simulation okay so let's read together so for in the coating process of product Z, the operator needs to start a coating machine by activating the push button A and B. Okay. So uh, as you can see here, we have two push button A and B, which is put at three and that's four. Okay. Next, what happened? Bila you dah tekan the both push button. The white color will be sprayed on the product for 10 seconds. Okay, the first step okay, is uh, spray white color for 10 seconds. So, this both input will activate spraying unit. Okay, will activate spraying unit. So, macam mana nak activatekan spray unit? Okay, yeah, setiap soalan, you kena fikir dulu and decide sama ada soalan tu menggunakan uh, relay as memory ataupun tak. Okay, you perlukan memory tak? Okay, so, bila you dah tekan push button A and B, the program start. Betul tak? The program start sampailah uh, ada something yang akan resetkan program tu ataupun uh, off kan program tu Jadi untuk keadaan yang macam ni Mestilah kita kena guna relay ataupun memory Okay yang tu yang kena Yang tu you akan lukis lah di, di PLC program nanti ya Okay next dia akan uh, This relay daripada X3 and X4 Akan hidupkan output uh, spring unit iaitu Y0 Okay And at the same time Okay Relay tadi akan hidupkan timer sebab dia cakap spraying unit. Uh, sparing timer selama 10 second. So, uh, relay tadi juga akan hidupkan timer. Okay, hidupkan timer selama 10 seconds. Okay, so selepas habis 10 second, apa yang berlaku? Okay, continue by drying process for 15 second. So, timer tadi akan hidupkan pula heater unit. Okay, hidupkan heater unit. And timer tadi juga akan hidupkan timer yang kedua iaitu drying timer. Okay. okay selama berapa second? 15 seconds. Okay, after that dah cukup 15 second. Apa yang berlaku? The spraying and drying process should be done for 10 times repeatedly. Okay, so... Uh, selepas dah cukup 15 second timer tu ni juga yang akan hidupkan product counter ok so dah lepas 10 kali cukup 10 kali apa yang berlaku counter ni akan off kan lah sistem ni ok dia akan reset kan dekat R1 tadi ok relay and then juga dia akan reset kan diri dia sendiri ok so selepas you all dah um, tahu Process flow Apa yang berlaku Okay barulah kita buka FP win Okay so uh, Macam biasa tekan new And then kita boleh terus Buat Okay tadi dalam program dia ada sebut Kita ada two inputs Which is x3 And X4 Okay when we press Both push button Apa yang akan jadi, the output Okay, kita nak letak relay lah ya Sebab dia kena simpan memori Dia akan on sampai lah ada benda lain yang reset So, kita kena letak memori tu Okay, kita letak memori Relay Insert And then kita kena Buat leceng 
So we call this uh, circuit as the chain. Okay. So next, the past two apa yang berlaku? The R1 relay one will activate the output, which is the spraying unit. So the output is Y0. Okay. So relay this relay this relay one will activate the timer selama timer one tadi kan untuk spraying timer timer one tadi sebanyak berapa seconds 10 seconds okay so put 10 seconds here okay next selepas cukup 10 second what will happen okay timer one ini akan off kan sorry timer one will off kan the spray unit okay timer one will off kan spray unit and timer one also will activate the what the heater unit okay right. activate output heater which is y1 Okay, and at the same time, timer 1 will activate the new timer for drying. We call timer 2. Okay, timer 2 for 15 seconds. Okay, insert 15 seconds. Alright, and okay, so the start lah kira sampai 15 seconds. So, selepas 15 second, what will happen? Timer 2, apa yang berlaku? Timer ni, timer 2 kan? Bagi maklumat terus kepada counter sebab nak buat 10 kali kan? So, you put it here, timer 2 akan hidupkan counter. CT101. Okay, berapa yang program ni nak? Ialah 10. So, apa yang berlaku selain daripada tu? Okay, kita baca balik soalan. Dia nak uh, the process uh, repeatedly, repeatedly for 10 times. Okay. okay, cuba you all recall balik lab sheet tu yang kita buat lampu yang berkelip-kelip tu. Okay, lampu yang setiasa berkelip tu. So, macam mana kita nak ulangkan balik Uh, drying process tadi, drying process dah siap kita nak ulangkan spraying unit uh, kita nak ulangkan spraying unit ok, bila kita nak ulangkan spraying unit, kita kena reset kat mana kita kena reset timer mana yang kita nak dia ulang, betul? so kat sini kita kena reset kat timer ni yang kita nak berulang timer yang timer yang mana Timer yang start untuk spraying. Okay, so kita kena letaklah dekat sini. Timer 2. Okay, timer 2. Kita nak dia reset balik. Timer 1. Okay, maksudnya kat sini. Maksudnya dia berulang lah. Ya. Yeah? Okay, so dia berulang. Berulang sampai 10 kali. Okay, bila cukup 10 kali. Counter ni akan bagi signal kepada the first input supaya the first uh, rang supaya stop cukup. Okay, so kita letaklah dekat sini. Okay, counter C101. Kita kena putuskan dia punya current. Cukup. And in the same time, uh, counter tadi dia reset lah diri dia sendiri jadi kosong balik. Okay. Okay, so let's we check with simulation whether the, uh, our program is true or not. Right, and then we insert the X3. Okay, off and roll. And then on X3 and X4 on. No, sorry. On. Okay, so the masa berjalan. Okay. 
Okay, so the counter kan start dari 10 kan. Okay, sekarang dah 9. So, kita tengok. Hmm. Sampai dia akan jadi uh, kosong lah kat sini. Okay. So, sekarang dah 6. Tiga. Okay. And then. Okay. So, sampai sepuluh. So, dia akan berhenti. Sampai sepuluh uh, kali uh, spray and uh, dry. Okay. And then, kita close. Buka balik lip sheet tadi. Okay, the next step is we want to convert the ladder diagram into mnemonic code table. Okay. okay, so macam biasa kita isikan address. Okay, starting from 1. And then tengok the first rung we should, we should put as, sorry. We should put as load. Okay, nama dia ialah F3. And then, number 2. Apa hubungan dia? Ialah N. Okay, and the input's name is X4. Okay. Kemudian dia jumpa apa dulu? Kita jumpa all. Okay, so 0, 0, 0, 3, all, R1. Next, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, and not. And not what? C1, 0, 1. Okay, and then 0, 0, 0, 5. Baru kepada output Iaitu outputnya ialah R1 Okay so settle for rang 1 Next we move to rang 2 Start from 0, 06 Okay and then load Load what? Load R1 Okay and then 0, 0, 0, 007 Okay lepas load dia jumpa And not right and not t1 okay and then number 8 terus kepada output iaitu output dia ialah y0 okay and then number 9 the third rung okay also load okay Load iaitu R1 Ok next 0 0 0 1 0 And not juga And not And not apa And not T2 Ok next 0 0 0 1 1 Akan jumpa Timer Okay, timer ataupun output. Dua-dua boleh tulis. Apa nama timer dia ialah TNY1 and then you kena letak hashtag. Hashtag berapa banyak iaitu 10 second. Okay, continue with number 12. The next round. Okay, next round we start with load. Okay, apa load dia ialah T1. Okay, next. 13. Okay, 13. Terus jadi output. Output dia ialah Y1. Right? Okay, next. 14. Next round. Okay. 
Nak strong apa? Masih lagi loot T1. Okay. And then 0, 0, 0, 1, 5. Output. Or team. Which is Kita kaya ni saya Nombor Sebelas Sembilan, sepuluh, sebelas Tak mana lagi kita So load dengan T1 Y1 dah Load T1 Okay, timer T and Y2 Okay Letak hashtag Second. Okay. Okay, bos saya sudah ada sepatutnya start from zero kan? You should start from zero. Sorry. Okay. Let me balik. You should start from zero. Okay, so sekarang kita dekat timer tu. Okay, next round. Next round is 0, 0, 0, 1, 5. Okay, which is load T2. Next, 0, 0, 0, 1, 6. Okay, 1, 6. Also load C101. Okay. And then 00017. Okay, so kita akan jumpa counter. Ataupun yang boleh tulis output. CT101. Okay, letakkan hashtag. Berapa tadi? Stand. Okay. So, sebelum habis. Kita dah habis. Kena selesai ingat. You kena letakkan and kat sini. Okay. okay. So, dah siap untuk radio diagram and also mnemonic code. Okay. So, this is the answer. So, hopefully you guys can understand and try by yourself. So, um, sampai sini dulu. Okay, thank you so much and good luck. Assalamualaikum.